Hi guys, how are we doing? Chucky Boy here again, bringing you a PES 2014 Master League video. Now we've got a little bit of a change of plan from what was normally supposed to be here. Um, and I'll explain that a little bit. But basically we've gone live com again this time. Um, it would normally be a highlights video, but I'm actually struggling quite a lot to get to um, find time to make the videos. So I'm going to go live com for maybe this week. And then we'll see if we can uh, get back to making the highlights videos again when I've got a little bit more time next week. But, you know, I wanted to keep this this going. I didn't, I didn't want to fall behind too much. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go live com. So, we're going to go straight into the game. First thing I'm going to do is change the kit because this team I am playing against, who are, will be known as Defensa, because I don't want to try and pronounce the whole thing. Um, I've actually made their kit, which is obviously yellow, so I can't play in that. So we're going to go for the... Yeah, we're going to go blue and red for a change. Okay, so the next thing is to check our team and make sure everybody's fit and, you know, in form, basically. Okay, so the last the hero for the, for the last two games really has been Marchamp. Um, he's a little bit tired, but I don't... I really can't risk... You know, giving him a day off, effectively, he's one of my best players, so... I think we're just going to go in with this and see what happens, really. So we're going to just go straight into the game, guys. And let's see if we can get back on track in the league. We've had a few... The last highlights video was, you know, two draws and a win. A loss, sorry, so... It would be nice to, you know, get back into maybe winning a game or picking up some points. So we'll see what happens. As, as I said, guys, I actually made the defensive kits myself. Um, they're not quite finished yet. There's still a lot. Obviously, the captain's armband is yellow right there, which is not a good deal on a, a yellow kit. But I will be um, improving most of these kits, like I've said to you guys before in previous videos. So they're not perfect by all means, but they'll do right now. And they will be updated as I, you know, get better at making the kits and all that stuff. Okay, so let's start the game. Well, let's see if we can get some points on the board. Would be nice. Oh dear. I'm going to explain a little bit um, about, like I said, why this is now a live com rather than highlights and that's basically i've got a, i got a new job the other week so i've been really swamped you know getting into that and getting used to it and getting all the other things done is proving quite difficult oh one nil straight away what to start yet again marchamp that man is proven to be a legend wow great start what a great great start if you watch the uh, Copa Argentina game, we also had a really good sight in that game too. We had a goal from Marchamp. Pretty, pretty similar time, I would say. Um, I think that was almost straight from kickoff on the previous one. And this one's not not too far behind it, so... Yeah, we seem to be really good at starting these games. We just can't seem to, you know, keep keep going, really. it's It's been, it's been great. Let's just skip this. It's been nice to be able to at least score goals that's you know one of the main concerns when you start a master league is you know can i get enough goals to to keep me um sort of in the in the picture i suppose because it is tough when you've got the default team and you, you don't manage to get a striker in but i think i've done pretty well with the strikers that i've got right now plus we've had a few goals from elsewhere um mainly leone leone's come up with i think two or three this season which helps you know, it helps the strikers, definitely. So, like I said, guys, I've started a brand new job recently, and uh, it's proven to be quite difficult to get to get time to get all these videos made and all that stuff. Because when, when I come in, normally I don't really feel like doing a great deal for a bit, and then, you know, I've got other bits and bobs to get done, and it's proven tough, but I'm gonna, once I've got settled and sorted in my new job, I should be... Um, I should have a routine sorted out where I can, you know, get back to making the videos properly and all that stuff. But I will still make the videos. They, uh, they just, they, they could be slightly hit and miss as regards the date, 
that they come out. I mean, I will still release them. There's no doubt of that because I love releasing the videos, you know. So there's definitely no worry of that happening. Okay, we've got the one no lead. Let's try and just calm it down a little bit. Now, this video might be quite long, guys. I apologize for that. As I explained in my last video, I've recently made the change um, with the file loader system that's now available for 2014. Um, I can actually edit the the game time to be anywhere between 1 and 90 minutes. So I try and aim for, I think it's 14. I, I double-checked after the last video, I, I uh, and I forgot again now, but I'm pretty sure it's 14 minutes, so it's 7-minute halves. It's just a little bit more than what I was getting with the 10-minute games. Uh, and it, it just helps, basically. You know, you don't always get a lot of chances when you've got um, the poor team that I've got right now. So, you know, it helps, how, it helps out a lot on that side of things. So, that's kind of why I did it. And that's, you know, it's, it's working out really well. But obviously, it makes the live comms. Oh, cheering Boney. That's the guy that doesn't have a shot. That was not bad, to be honest. That was not bad. That's one of his best. Um, as you've seen in previous video, guys, he will be uh, on the way, hopefully, in January to be replaced. Um, I've seen a few targets, obviously, and there will be more targets added pretty soon. Um, that will be, of course, you will know all about those things when they happen. Keep you updated as much as I possibly can. But like I was saying, the, the the 14 minute games do help a hell of a lot when it comes to making like highlights videos. It means I get you know a lot more chances in the game, so I, yeah, eventually, uh, sorry, eventually get a lot more highlights and stuff like that. So um, the the live comms will obviously be longer because that does get affected. But you know it's it's not a massive amount of difference. But I hope you guys you know don't mind that this is a live com again. Um, Still not perfect at doing live comms. I don't think I'm ever going to get perfect at it, but I'm more comfortable at doing them now. But you know, they they are are oh, two nil. Great header there by Walcow, and that's his first goal for a while, which is great. And this is proving quite easy at the moment, which is quite concerning. But yes, it was a nice little play down the wing. We have the right back uh, Diaz, I believe. The cross, it could have been Vasquez, I'm not quite sure, I wasn't paying attention. But basically, Wildcard gets in front of his marker and just nods the ball in. Yeah, that's uh, Diaz. With the cross, and say Wildcard's first goal for a header. First goal for a while. Can't even talk right now. <laughs> so, 2-0. Marvellous. 28 minutes gone and we're 2-0 up. That's lovely, lovely play. Not always possible in this game, but when it comes off, it's great to see. I don't know what I was talking about. Now I was talking about uh, live comms, I think. So basically, you know, I, I'm i not really comfortable doing live comms. I, I, like I've said to you in the older live comms that I've done, I I tend to concentrate too much on actually playing the game rather than talking as well. So it's I find it quite tough. But every now and again, it's, it's, it's pretty good. But I, I just don't think I could do it, you know, every single time. So, you know, I'm going to keep the highlights videos. Um, the live comms are scheduled to be... That's an awful pass. The live comms are scheduled to be um, cup games and maybe important fixtures later on in, in the, the league. Like when we eventually get promotion. Um, we're going to do, obviously, we're going to play against teams like Boca Juniors, River Plate. Those games, you know, maybe live comms as well because they're, they're you know, the big games of the season. And then the ultimate goal is, you know, if we get like, say... Uh, Copa Libertadores games and you know cup finals uh, what else would we use it for we'd probably use it for like title deciders and stuff if we ever get there which I'm hoping we do eventually because this is going to be you know this is now going to be my main series on my channel really so it's going to be huge uh, investment in time basically I'm going to go as long as possible and all the way probably until uh, 2015 comes out so it's going to be a hopefully a long series and uh, we'll see how far we can actually get there's no guarantee of course that we're ever going to get you know anywhere near winning the title i would like to think we will do eventually because i'm going to play it for so long but you know 
It's not a guarantee anyway. There's no way I can guarantee that to you guys, but I'll be trying my hardest. Don't you worry. Okay, we've come up to half time, which is would be nice to go into at two 0 up. Not really been tested yet at the back, which is which is good because my defending is not always uh, so good. But you know, it's not really been tested yet, so. But I keep giving the ball away, which is never great. I keep giving them a chance to, to go forward. I should be able to get to that ball. There we go. There we go, guys. There's half time. And we're 2 0 up, which is a great, great feeling away from home. You know, let's look at the stats a little bit. Possession's pretty even. Um, but obviously, they, they've had no attempts on goal or anything like that. They don't know corners, no nothing. Uh, my pass completion is actually better than normal at 75%. That's not too bad for me. Normally mine's around 60, or it's in the 60s somewhere, which is, you know, it's not perfect, but I think 75 is not too bad. Um, yeah, I say I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with being 2-0 up away from home. That's a great, it's a great feeling to be, you know, have the advantage, considering my... Oh, my last game away from home was, you know, the loss to Boca. And not to get confused with Boca Juniors, guys. I'm on about Boca Unidos, I believe. Basically, in the last away game, we got we got trounced. You know, if you watch the last highlights video, you'll know that. You know, we were dominated in that game. Please be offside. Oh, okay, moving up. We got... Def oh, give the ball away. That's not good. That's... I can... I can live with that shot from there. Okay. I will be looking, guys, into a, a new goalkeeper. Not really happy with my three that I've got. I've got three goalkeepers that are all rated at 67. Um, they've all played some part. We've got the ball here. Let me just break away a minute. And can we get a re rebound score, please? Thank you. 3 0. And this is my favourite guy. Marchamp is probably the best guy in the team. But for me, this guy is, you know, the the favourite between me and, I would say, most of the fans. Um, he's an old guy, but, you know, he's just great. He's got a really good shot with his left foot. He actually scored on his debut, which is great. Great way to introduce yourself to the new club. And he's proven to be my favourite player. And I believe that's four goals he's got this season. So that's great. I didn't actually want... I wanted to shoot first time there, but it didn't work. But, you know, I'm not going to complain too much because it's gone in the back of the net. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I've lost a train of thought as to where I was, but I can't. I don't think it was that important, or so I would remember. I hope not, anyway. There is one thing that I wanted to ask you. Um, I did say previously in, the, in this series that I was going to ask a question every single video, and it... it I only asked one, it's, you know, kind of forgot to do it every time. But I've got a question. Um, I need some feedback, basically. I would like you guys to leave comments in the comment section. And this is going to be, you know, about live comms. You know, do you... Can we score? No, we can't. Ah! Anyway, like I said, I would like to know, guys, I want your feedback, I want your opinions on this. I want to know if you want live comms. Or if you want highlights packages and live comes to special games. Um, like I said, this one is only this week maybe live comes because I just don't have the time to actually make a highlights video and re-record the audio and stuff like that. So a live comes much easier to actually make because it requires very little editing and stuff like that. So, you know, um, but, you know, if you guys want to see me do this every single time, I would gladly give it a go. Because that's the idea. The idea is, you know, giving. The, obviously, the idea is to get to get um, this this team. I ah, knew they were going to score at some point. That guy was way too tall to be left like that. Oh well, clean sheet's gone. Ah oh dear, but you can see he's he's actually taller than he was on my left back. He was not very tall at all, and um, you can see right there. How much the size difference actually comes he actually gave he actually chests it down which makes a mockery of my left back really um yeah it's not it wasn't 
obviously that's what strikers would do strikers you know tall strikers like that would probably target you know the smaller defender because they've got a better chance of doing stuff but it's not great for me but hey ho it's 3-1 it's not you know it's not the end of the world we've conceded we've conceded a goal uh, we concede most goal we concede a goal in most games anyway so that's not too much of a trouble just happy that we've managed to get three as ourselves you know but like i said before we were rudely interrupted by the the goal that was my dog by the way i apologize for that if it came through yeah um I want to I want you know I want to know what you guys want to see. Do you want live comms every every week, um, every game, or would you like, you know, me to continue doing what I'm doing? Can we get to this ball? No, we can't. Just so leave comments, guys, in this section below, and if you also follow me on Twitter and stuff like that, feel free to leave your opinions on there. I do check that most, you know, every day at some point. So either way should be good. Oh wow. Okay. How the hell did he score that? Oh, that's Wildcard's second header. Well, I need to watch the replay for that. I really don't know how he scored that. It was almost on the back of his head. I thought I'd lost the ball down here again. I was being pressured by the defender and I honestly thought I'd lost this. Let's take a look. That's a great header to be fair. He's facing the opposite direction. That is a great, great header. So obviously he's proved that he can do it, but... That's an amazing header. To, to score from there is insane. He's facing the opposite direction. Okay. So this has now become a goal fest. This is not what I assumed was going to happen today. Away games are normally quite tricky. Like I said earlier on in this video, my, my last away game, I was, actually, I was absolutely dominated by the team. Um, and I was lucky to, to not concede more goals in that. You know, my keeper pulled off a few great saves in that game. And it was really tough. I expected the same from this, to be honest. But it's proving to be um, not so bad. Maybe my team's playing, just, you know, the the Copa Argentina stuff is maybe working a treat. You know, players are being on form and motivated and the heart feature and all that stuff. You know, there's a few, there was a... F ah, I thought I'd got that. There was a few players actually on... Um, pretty high motivation or heart you know um, whichever I'm going to call it motivation because that's the that's what it's called in the options menu um, and I'm looking to make some changes actually um, let's just yeah let's make some changes I think Marchamp should do with a rest because you know he's, he's pretty tired um, as you can see there actually is is you know really really tired but yeah both Wildcow and Marchamp look have both got pretty high motivation right now so but Marchamp, Marchamp is coming off. Um, Hostabaz is the only striker I actually have, so he's going to have to come in. Um, and what do we do next? Let's see. Let's take... Let's give... Chirimboni. Do we give him a rest? I don't think we've got anyone to replace him. That's the problem. I think that might do, to be honest. Marchamp is, you know... I, can we... Yeah, we can actually change Vasquez for... Yogacini, I think he's... Yeah. Yogacini has played a few times. Um, maybe I should... I'd, I'm actually tempted now to change my mind. I may change... Um, Yogacini and Leone. Just because Vasquez is obviously a younger guy and he may, and he may recover quicker. I'm hoping that's the case now, but I think we'll do that. Just give these guys a little bit of a break and try and you know, do something. Ah, oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Right, okay, we've got 10 minutes to go. 4-1. I'm pretty happy how this game's gone, to be honest. Pretty, pretty happy how this has turned out. Like I said, I was expecting more from an away game. I was expecting it to be tough. It's turned out to be relatively easy compared to what I've actually played on this game so far. So that's great. Can we get another one? Let's try another cross. Of course, Walcow is now on a hat trick. He's, on, he's actually on a hat trick of headers as well, which is which is pretty cool. It's nice to see that heading has you know been majorly, majorly improved for this game. It's been a big, big issue of mine for the last two Pez games, really. Um, oh wow, Turin Boney scored. That doesn't happen at all. That is his first goal of the season. 
Um, like I said, guys, he's not my favourite player in the world, but I don't have any other option right now. So it's nice that he's, he's nipped him with a goal. Um, he is very, very left-footed, though, and I think that's what his left foot... Lovely, lovely pass there again by Marchamp just before he gets substituted. It's actually a right-foot finish. I was completely wrong. But yeah, lovely, lovely goal. So there we go. That's 5-1. It's getting more and more surprising the more we play. Okay. What are we on? 87 minutes coming up to. So guys, just to wrap up a little bit, remember to, to give me your opinions on what you want to see. If you want live comms or you want, you know, highlights games, I'm happy with either. But I want your, you know, your feedback really. Would have been nice if we'd get another one. I think this is by far my highest win on this game so far. Oh dear. I'd love to, to keep it a one. Don't score. Please don't score. Please don't score. Thank you, goalkeeper. There we go. So he kept it. He didn't score. That's great. Come on, referee. Blow the whistle. Let's get this over with. We've got the five goals. My dog decided to have a drink right now, if you can hear that too. I apologise. Can we score? Wow, okay. I have no idea what I did there. Wow, what a stupid way to end. I actually pressed the wrong button completely. I pressed the trigger. Oh, my dog is making so much noise. Okay, guys, so we got a 5-1 win. I didn't look at the stats because I pressed the button by accident. So, yeah, great, great away win. And we're going to actually go and see where that puts us in the table because... You know, we can't check it as normal. My dog is making so much noise. Okay, we're in eighth place. Pretty average, to be honest. Pretty good. Um, you know, two wins, three draws, two losses. It's great. Um, I'm not really happy about the nine goals conceded, to be honest. But we, d we do, t like I said, we, we do tend to concede in most games. So there we are, guys. Remember to leave comments, and we'll see what happens in the next video. Um, so thank you very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you all again in the next one.